Well, welcome back to the siren. And this time we're going to be starting to work on the bow sprit. A lot of work to do here, so I don't know how many videos I'm going to have to split this up into. But the first thing you need to do is get this first section of the bow sprit shaped. Square tin on the back end, which I've already done. When I was putting the bit in the ship, I made bone that bit, I made this so I can fit to it. And then we have a tin on this end with a square section. So I went ahead and marked where my top of my bow sprit is all the way along. Cut it a little bit longer. And with the plan to show. So I can start shaping the end here. The end should be about this long, but I got a square section on the end that fits into the tip of the bowsprit. But I think what I want to do first is I'm going to shape this one here to get it closer to the right angle. And I'm just going to do that. Probably with just a combination of round and square file. That way I can just come in and work through it like this. So I can start working on that angle here. Doesn't need to be wider, just needs to have the top and the bottom sloped at about the same angle here. So you can see it's right here where all the different slopes are. So I'll go ahead and get that done. And then we can start working on making a square tin on the end of here to fit it. And make this section square for the bees to fit next to these things right here. Okay, I have the bow sprit, the first part of the bow sprit shaped. Everything fits on good. This, I'll give it a word of advice. It shows on the end that there's two sets of squares here. Don't worry about that. Just do one square to fit this and you'll be fine because the hole here is actually too big. So right now I got set with it being two sizes of squares that fit too far on. So I'll set this up against the bees and then fill in my mistake at the beginning of it. In the meantime, I can start getting the uh, bees shaped. And the, the bee blocks and the seats to shaped. So I'm pulling them off the plans here. This area right here is the block. And this area right here is the seat. So if I can come on here and I can get I'm going to do with my knife. Do a little shaping on the end of that. And then I can figure out how long the block is. And then I can make my block. It's made out of 336 by 16th. Now it looks like the 16th is the height and the 3 3 seconds is the width. Or 16, 16th is the width and 3 3 seconds is the height. I got that backwards. Minor wood that size is almost square, so it doesn't matter for me. I'll cut two of those off, and then they need to have a notch put in them for the sheaves. Which will be simple enough. First, square off the end better. And then come in, figure out which way is the top on this, and cut my blocks in here. Set on the plans. I can see where the openings are. You see that I'm actually a little bit short, maybe. I just mark out where the sheaves go. And then come in here and just trim that out. I do believe there will be going a line through here, so this kind of does need to be trimmed out. And 
that's so I'm going to trim it out. I'm going to go ahead and make these up. The seats, kind of the same way. You're going to mark off where the openings are. And the length. I'm going to make two of each. Each one of these blocks has a sheave in it, a disc in it, that you just make out of scrap, but it says. So I'll figure out one of those. I don't care if it's round or not. Probably should be round, but for looks, I don't think it really matters. You're not really going to be able to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and get those make, made, and we can get them put on. In place, and the um, bowsprit cap. Bowsprit cap glued on prematurely, but I wanted to get everything in line and shaped up. I did forget to carve the channel in the bowsprit cap for the jack staff. This piece right here. That's fine. But then the dolphin striker goes on the front anyway, so that doesn't matter. That's when you drill some holes and put some eyes on it. I can do that later right now. I'm going to be working on the jib boom and the saddle, the sling saddle. And to do that, I just took my bowsprit, stuck it on here over the plan, rolled it over, and I marked where they go. The saddle, it says you're cutting out from a piece of manila. The jaboom rest is laser cut, but it is really, really fragile. So be careful with it. You're not going to be able to do hardly any sanding on it without destroying it. So I'm probably just going to put it on and then see if I can just file these sides on to get rid of the, the char from the laser. And it goes right here, right on top. And I have the, the jaboom staff piece of wood for use of jaboom here. So I can stick that in and figure out to get it right on top. So I'll get that glued in first and I'll start cutting out the sling saddle. The sling saddle is the piece of manila and it's also a piece of wood. So get up my ad hot glue pot here. Where possible, I like to use wood glue because wood glue, well, it's made for wood, so it should be better. Well, let the internet debate whether I should be doing this with wood glue or, or CA because it really doesn't matter. A little bit of glue there. Just the rest in place. Get it as straight as I can get it. Then I'm going to take the jaboom and set here. I feel like I need to do a little sanding here still to make it fit better, but that's beside the point. Get this all straightened up. And then I can literally just leave this clamped like this. through the magic toolbox and get a clamp. Doesn't need to be tight, just something to hold it in place. Uh, side note, I really can't recommend this style of clamp. I have two of them and one of them does not clamp very well. So hopefully that will stay there. I'll just let it rest. This is in the middle folder. It goes here. And then the the, the top part of this thing. It's, it's, it's a saddle sling. Top part is just a piece of wood that is. Find it here. Uh, 
The saddle service is going to be two elements. First, there's going to be a saddle sling. The saddle. Sling saddle. A thinner piece of wood on top of the aft in the first number to complete the saddle. Okay. So, I need a piece of this of the right size. And a piece of wood. Start out with that. The wood I need is 1 seconds by 1 16th. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut out, soak the wood, and get everything glued on for the saddle. We'll come back, we have a cleat here. Five or six cleats here, I don't remember which. And the fair lead. And the fair lead, discuss that real quick. The fair lead is made from a laser cut piece of wood that is really fragile. I went through all three of them in the uh, laser cut section to try to make one. I ended up just starting to make my own. This one's a little bit bigger, but I think it'll be fine. Once I cut it, trim it, stand it down a little thinner and and get ready to glue on. This is just made out of three pieces of scrap wood from another kit that I just soaked, put some wood glue on, and then clamped it around a quarter inch drill bit or whatever size this is. The same size as the bow sprit. Just to make my own fair lead and then drill the holes in. I think I'll be much happier with this rather than this fragile piece right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the sling made and then come back and we'll start talking about the cleats. So here, here I am, the bow spritz done. I did not film a lot of it because all you would have seen was my hands in the way. So the saddle, the jaboom rest, there's a cleat underneath it, there's a fair lead, there's a gammoning cleats, which point of note on this is don't go by the instructions on where they go. Stick your bow spray into the ship and mark off where the bow is before gluing them on because otherwise you'll end up like me and have them too far back. You have to take them off when you do them. Now the three black bands back here for the iron bands. Instructions say to use the supplied um, pinstriping tape. They actually don't supply that anymore. I went and got my own and put it on. So this part here is ready for painting on the front and then varnishing the whole thing except for I still need the jack staff and the dolphin striker which I believe are next on the instructions so I'll see about getting the parts together for those and see what I need and come back. Okay so now we have the bow sprit made itself. You need to make the jaboom and the flying jaboom. They're very similar in shape in that they're tapered down Similar ends, sheaving one end. The main difference is on the heel of them and how it's shaped. Um, I'll do one, start one on camera, but the other one I'll do off camera. So for the jaboom, you're starting with a 5 3 seconds dowel. I've gone through and marked off my major points just to see about how long it's going to be, but I'm not going to cut it to length. I'm going to taper it first. So I see that it might be some weird grain in here, so I'll do some weird things for me. Tapering it just like I did the bow sprit, and I'm just using a block plane and just starting to take it down a little bit at a time. And you see, I got a little bit of weird grain here, so on how well this is going to work. Once you start getting it taken down, Measure it up every once in a while, see where you're at. Oops. Then work with millimeters just because it's easier to work with. Start to get the taper going, then you can come back with some sandpaper and finish it off. The main thing is you want it to be round. With dowel, it's real easy to make it oval shaped.
a lot of people say check this up in a drill and just sand it while it's spinning. You can do that. It's a very viable way of uh, shaping it. But once you get the end down, which this is close to where it should be, you start worrying about making your end here. Go ahead and give yourself a, some marks for the, where the taper is. Go ahead and spin it around so you get that mark going all the way around. And this has a little taper section here. And it comes back up to the full diameter of the jibboom again. And then you have a slot that goes in here. It also looks like it has a divot in there as well. I'm not sure. It's hard to see. Even the picture is just showing it around with just a slot going up and down. So I'll probably do it like this and get my uh, band around and stuff. We'll see how this works. Taking a knife, giving myself a stop cut here. And then it's coming from this one, I can shave it down. The stop cut helps you from going too far. It helps give you a nice shoulder here. So let's keep working that down. Until you got a nice shape that you want there. Finish it off. Let's see if I can just get a little needle file here and round it up. The needle file I'm using here is not cut on the sides. The sides are smooth. So I'm not actually cutting back this way any. I'm just smoothing off that taper. Looks pretty good. Next is there's a notch on the end, but it looks like I can just take and shave off just a hair of this. See if a spot that looks better on top. I see some notches here, so I can put that towards the bottom. So it's harder to see. Since this is the side view, this is the top view. Come in here. Figure out the notch. That notch. And probably be just filed in if I have a file small enough. Which, now this, is where you come back with a set of files that do have the filing surface on the edge and you just come back in here get this smooth off first figure out where my top is again and just come in and stand, grind like that assuming the file is not too wide and do something like that and give yourself a nice little notch in there. That looks to be perfect. The other end, you can now come and mark off to my length. <coughs> and I can cut it off the length. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, miter saw. 
spider box. So they keep it square. Which one's itch? Save that fall off because you might need it somewhere else. Probably for a yard or a boom or something. So now I have the jaboom that's about the right length. This end gets sanded so it's octagonal and it gets a notch sanded into it. This end, I still need to cut a sheave into it right here. So I'll drill two holes all the way through and then use the knife to cut out a little slot between them. But the slot does not go all the way through. There's supposed to be a pulley in there. And then everything's done. I should be able to fit the, put these together. Like that and glue them together and be perfect. Still got to paint them though. As I was sanding right here to do to get rid of some chattering. There, but I think it'll be fine. Show on the back. Lay it down. I'm going to close that give myself a mark to say where my top is, and then a line around here to say where the octagonal section is. And then I come back, put my top all the way up. And then come back and you just start filing in some flats. You can do it like that or you can just do it on the edge of the desk and file it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it kind of square then I'll come back Doing the same thing, either off the edge of the desk or with the file, do a square. Now I'll come back and knock the corners off and make it octagonal. So I have this shaped octagonal. I don't like it because it's getting too small. It's smaller than this piece. And you look at these the pictures, the octagonal section is actually larger than the rest of the jaboom. So I'm going to go ahead and glue some wood onto this and make it bigger. And then shape it back down to an octagonal shape. And then I'll cut in my notch and sheaves. So like I said, I went ahead and put some wood to make this a little bit thicker and made it octagonal. Cut my notch in the end. I'm going to do a little wood filler on it, but this is all going to get painted black from here back. So do a little wood filler and cut my uh, sheaves in. And my sheaves that get cut in it are literally, literally just two holes drilled. One towards the bow on top, through here, so just drill yourself a hole all the way through, then you come back a little bit from it and drill a second hole all the way through. Hopefully they're pretty straight going through here. You know what I do? So let's come here with a knife and I connect the dots. That way there's a little indentation there to Kind of give impression that there's a slot here with a sheave. Same thing on the bottom. And that 
getting the impression that there's a sheave there. Also, so you can run a line through there, because I'm pretty sure a line's going to run through there. There is a second one on the side back here. And do the same thing. Just come through. Drill two holes through. Can't recommend these pin vices because they just don't grip the uh, drills very hard. But you look at pin vices on Amazon, that's about what you find. Second hole just in front of that one. Don't press down, let the drill do the work, otherwise you'll end up stabbing yourself. Ask me how I know. Because what will happen is you're going to break that drill bit off. It's going to jump over and give you a nice little stab wound. Same thing, kind of notch in here. Get the impression that this is set in for the sheave. And with this, the jaboom is done, except for a black band around the front, painting this black, and then coating it. I'll coat them all at the same time. The black band around the front, they say to use with use um, the uh, supplied um, pinstrap tape. There is no pinstrap tape supplied in this kit that they used to, but they don't anymore. So you have to figure out your own band on that. I went ahead and bought some pinstripes tape, but it doesn't stick very well, so I have to tape it on with super glue. So get that done. I'll get the uh, flying jaboom back done, and then we can go ahead and work on the jack staff. You know, the jack staff and the dolphin striker that goes on the bowsprit cap. Once that's all done and glued up, then we'll call the bowsprit done for the woodworking. So here I have the bowsprit, the jaboom, and the flying jaboom made up. Painted the end of this to see how it's going to look. So I need to paint up here on the dolphin striker and bees. This gets some black on it as well on the base of it. I think there's another section of here that I need to paint the black and then coat it with um, some Danish oil and some polyurethane. Uh, the ends here, these two bands, it says to use the supplied um, pinstripe tape, which is not supplied. It's not even on the parts list. It's an old instruction they used to supply it, but they don't anymore. The tape I have that I use here on the bowsprit itself doesn't stick very well. I may pull these off or you're doing with string but these are just old tried and true where it's a coil of rope around that's glued into place and i think it looks better it's easier to do so the only thing i left to do on this is i need some pleats in the bottom of this holes drilled in here but i'm going to call this good for this video i'm just giving an idea what this is going to look like though the jaboom goes in here and then the flying jaboom goes over here. So it's a pretty long bowsprit assembly. I'm going to leave it here. Next time I'll assemble it. I have made up a traveler ring. Got to make up a second one for here. But again, I'm going to leave it here for now. Thank you for watching my video. And next time, this will be painted, coated, and we can start getting it on the ship and getting it rigged up.